Hi, I'm going to show you how to start creating your drawing files. What we're going to start off by doing is um, creating a multi-view and dimensioned sketch of each one of our puzzle piece parts. So what I want you to do is that instead of going to New, I want you to go to Open. Um, in CAD data, there is a file that is called Title Block IED A Size. Um, what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and open this. What this is, it's a title block page um, that is going to be specific to you and Highland Park High School. So right now it says my name. Um, in order for it to say your name, you're going to click on sheet one might be minimized. So maximize it, uh, maximize title block AIED, and double click on field text. You can change your name. Please write it in all caps. Um, and your Project title can be your initials, underscore, puzzle, cube. Click OK. And now we have our title block pretty much set up. So what I'm going to start off by doing is I want to dimension one of my pieces. So if I click on base, I want to find my file. So I'm going to go into my puzzle cube project. I'm going to do my red piece first. So if you see, if I hover over in my title block here, you can see my piece show up. So I'm just going to click OK. And the first view is your front. It automatically places. You're going to drag your mouse up for the top view, over to the right for your right side view, and then up in the corner here for your isometric view. Once you've left click for the last time, you can right click, create your views, and you're good to go. Um, we want this, these to be centered on the title block page. So if you just take your front view and move it down, um, it's very easily adjustable. So we'll make this look a little bit nicer. <coughs> Maybe move it up a little bit more. So we always want our isometric view to be colored and shaded. So if you double click on your isometric, um, we have different styles down here. So you can show your hidden lines. Um, hidden lines can be removed or it can be shaded. So if you click on shaded, click OK, you're going to notice that my isometric view turn, changes color. <coughs> so next order of business is to start dimensioning them. If you go to the annotate tab, you're going to see a familiar button that says dimension. And all this is doing is it's giving us the dimensions or the lengths so we could recreate this drawing. Um, Multi-view drawings, as you remember, are used to give us as much information as possible. Um, so when a designer brings it to an engineer or a manufacturer, they follow these drawings to actually fabricate your product. So to dimension it, um, we're just going to hover over this line and we're going to drag up. You'll see that my extension lines go ahead and snap right into place. So know that that is 1.5. So let's do the same thing over here. This is 0.75. This is 0.75. And we already we can see that this shape aligns with this, so we already know those dimensions. Um, and then what we can do here is, let's say we click on, OK. Let's say we click on this corner edge, click on this corner edge. We can also bring this out. Um, it shows you 1.5. You can click and say OK. Um, there's a couple of different ways to go about getting all the information that you need, but this is a good start. So actually, that dimension we don't need. Let's do it on top instead. If you have any questions on dimensioning, f uh, please feel free to ask us. So now this is good to go. Um, what we want to do next is I will show you how to create a multi-view of the entire cube. Um, you want to continue this practice for each one of your five cubes. So next, let's go to Place Views. We'll go right over here to New Sheet. Don't open a new document at this point in time. Um, again, we're going to put in our name, our project title. Remember, it's your last initial, your initials, underscore puzzle cube. Click OK. And now let's um, go to our base again and find our assembly. 
click open. And here we want to do our front, top, right, left, back, and bottom view. Um, so as you're seeing here, our cube is a little bit too big. I can't fit all those views on one page. So if you go over to this pop-up, your drawing view window, you're going to see your view scale label. Um, it's one to one. So let's look at half. Um, half looks good. So we're starting off with our front view orientation. So let's click OK. So our front view is there. Drag up to the top. Drag over to the right. Drag over to the left. Drag over to the back. And let's go back down to the bottom. And of course our little ISO right up here. Right click, create. And now we have a nice orthographic projection of our cube. Come on. I actually want this over here. So for this drawing, we want everything to be shaded. So what we can do, um, double click and make sure that everything is shaded. Well, let's see. So in order to fix that to make sure that all of your cubes are colored in the beginning, um, just make sure that before you start creating it, the shaded tab is selected and then you can have all of them be the same color. So that's how you create the multi-view of your entire piece here. Um, in the following tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create the presentation, and then we'll go back to making our exploded view.